Okay, so here we are. I have Simon with me right here. Hi. And we're heading to the greenhouse. Okay, so here is the ginger. And um, this is what we're going to be looking at real quick. I need a trowel. Okay, so here's Simon. He's going to, um, you probably should be able to find a trowel right there in that bucket next to your feet. And he's going to start digging up the ginger. We're going to be having some close-up video here inserted so that you can see what he's doing exactly. And Simon, do you want to tell us if there's any specific way you dig it up or? I just kind of dig it up and pull on the, if it's, if it's nice and green, and you can kind of pull on the, um, the leaves to get it out of there, but since these have all been killed by the frost already, and they're just brown, there's not much to pull on. So. Yeah, okay, cool. Whoopsie! <laughs> so, what do we got there? Does that look like a fairly decent one then, so far? Just the one? Mm -hmm. So there's Kay. two kinds of ginger that you're going to pull up. So there's the, the new stuff, which will have a very thin skin. Um, and then there's the older stuff, which will have a thick skin. Okay. Also called, like, the, the new stuff is also called baby ginger. Okay. And apparently it sells really well at farmer's markets. Very nice. People want it. Okay. It's very dry dirt. Now, the, this is ginger that I purchased. It's organic, but I purchased it at a grocery store. And when, Simon, you did yours at home, you actually purchased it not at a grocery store. You actually ordered it specifically for planting, correct? Yeah, so at the grocery store, you have to be careful because... If you don't get the right one, they'll have um, treated it so that the rhizomes won't grow. So they'll have killed all the um, all the places where it can grow. So it won't, it won't do anything if you plant it. Okay. So that's why organic, if you buy it at a grocery store, is best. Okay. Awesome. So um, we'll see how this tastes. And, you know, I may just buy some like you did. We'll see how... This is the first time I think, I did have ginger before, I didn't really know what I was doing before, so there wasn't a lot of it. It seems like they're also growing pretty close to the surface of the soil, is that correct? Yeah, they're pretty close to the surface, you don't have to dig very deep to get to them. One of the things, when I'm pulling this out, I haven't really been doing it much, but normally I would be kind of pulling off all the roots that aren't the ginger. Okay. Uh, just to clean it up a little bit. Yeah. You can start to pull off the, the stems to it. The, the actual stalks though is easiest to cut off with a sharp knife. Yeah. Okay. I don't have it at the moment. I do have a sharp knife somewhere in here, but <laughs> I had to dig for it. So do you think I'm getting a pretty good harvest here, would you say? I know you had a ton of ginger, didn't you? Would you say how many pounds did you have? I don't remember. Um, I don't remember how much I started with either. It's probably... At least 12 pounds that I had. Okay. This isn't going to be anywhere near that, I don't think. No. But I have a much smaller, of course, it's in a pot, whereas, did you grow yours in the ground? Yes. Yes. And I don't know, if I had grown it in the ground, I would have definitely had to harvest it before now, right? Because once it freezes, it's not a good thing. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. So it was it was protected enough in a pot in the greenhouse, I would imagine, that it's okay. Sort of. I mean, it still would have been better to harvest it before freezing, because it probably did freeze in here already. Yeah. So I was a little behind. We had some family things going on with my husband's parents, and so things got a little behind. So we're we're now just trying to catch up, playing catch up. <laughs> yeah. So the ginger is a teeny bit soft. Okay. Um, so it probably wouldn't work for, like, cooking with it. Okay. Or, like, yeah, using it for dishes but what we're going to be doing is it's fine we're just going to be drying it anyway so okay it won't hurt if it's a little bit soft we're going to dry it and we're going to grind it into a powder for use as a spice in baking basically okay I don't think I'm too disappointed in my heart the, the amount of harvest I have here con considering the fact that it was just in a small pot. How much did you plant? I think I planted three rhizomes or three is that what you call them rhizomes? Yeah, right. So I planted three in there. 
to bed. I think I, I got either two or three pounds. Okay, so you had a lot. Anything left? There's still some. Okay, good. Now, I, we're going to, like Simon said, we're going to be dehydrating this and grinding it into powder so that we can use it in baking and, and things. I'm really wondering if I should think about vacuum sealing it, or do you think it would be, it would just last fine in a, just a, a normal jar on the spice shelf? It should be fine. If we dry it properly, it should be fine, just, just like a normal spice. Yeah. Now, Simon, you did grow ginger in your apartment before you had a house. I did. And how did that go? I can't remember how that went for you. Uh, it worked pretty well. You just have to um, make sure there's plenty of sunlight. Yeah. And ginger likes it warm, so as long as you, your, your uh, house or apartment is kept warm. <laughs> right. So don't let the, your space keep you from trying things. That's what we're trying to say, right? I think that's everything. Awesome. So we have, we'll have some close-ups um, of this for you. I'll try to move over here real quick and just see. We didn't get a lot. Definitely nothing like a, the 12 pounds that um, Simon would have gotten. So um, this one here is an older one. Okay. It has a thick skin. Yeah, I see it's that. It's probably, it might be one of the original ones you planted or um, earlier. And then this okay. one's the baby ginger, so you can see how the skin is very thin. Yeah, it's actually already just coming off. Oh yeah, I see that. Um, okay, so very different. Awesome, and I can smell it mm -hmm. already. Okay, so we have a little. Uh, still taking the ginger, the stems off the ginger, the leaves off of there, and I think we're going to have a decent amount. I, I, I wouldn't be able to tell how much ground ginger this would actually make. Um, I don't know what the ratio is of what you, fresh ginger to ground ginger, but hopefully we'll get a nice amount. We are also thinking, though, about doing part part of this for ground, and then Simon is interested in, in doing some crystallized ginger. So I think we're going to put some of that aside, and in another few weeks when he's home for Christmas, we will think about trying to make some crystallized ginger. So that should be... That should be fun. So he's just, just cut, snipping off those leaves so we don't have to take all those inside. Cool. So we're inside, and here's our ginger. Um, like I said, we're planning. I'm going to just kind of pan over here for you because over here is our dehydrator. And currently, we are trying to dehydrate some cranberries, which don't seem to be shriveling <laughs> very quickly. So when these are done, we would like to put the ginger in and start dehydrating that so we can grind it into powder. So let's go back over here and Simon, what would be the next thing then that you would like um, like to do? We need to give them a good wash. Okay. So um, what we'll do is we'll break, break these into, well, if they're hard, at least you need to break them into pieces so you can get into all the crevices. Um, and that'll also make it easier to peel. Mm -hmm. As it is, I, we'll still break them. Um, but as you can see, there's all these crevices yeah. that you couldn't really peel easily, and there's a lot of dirt in there. So we got to okay. we got to break them into smaller pieces, okay, um, and get discard any rotten or okay. Ones. So that's the next step. That sounds good. Looks like the peels are coming off. Yeah, because it's because okay. it's frozen. So what are we doing? We're trying to clean it and get the peels off, correct? Well. We're just trying to clean it right now. If the peels are coming off, then that's fine. We'll just we can just do okay. it. We can do both at the same time. Um, and because it's so soft, we don't need to worry about breaking it probably because okay. it, it just kind of bends away anyway. Yeah. So if we can get the peels Since off. Since I waited so long to harvest. <laughs> so if we can get the peels off at the same time. Okay. Cool. But with fresh fresh ginger, it does not come off this easily. Okay. This easily. Maybe so yours was a little more difficult. The mine, peeler. I had a peel. Yeah. So we can cut up any of the places where the, the stem came out of okay. because they're, they're kind of rubbery and weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you can, you can cut up any places that look bad. 
Since we're drying it, we do want to get most of this as much skin off as we can. But, well, I guess it, that would get crumbled too. So. Dirt in the crevices and the, the peels, you can see the peels. Okay. I also cut away any like the green spots. Okay. So, like a potato? You don't yeah. want the green stuff? Is that I'm very similar? Sure. I don't think it hurts anything. Okay. Like a potato. But... Here's some that you can probably get So, the... like this one, this is not going to come off. Okay, so this that's one, one of the ones that has the heart, the so just needs, thicker skin. It just needs um, so do you want, so broken that, apart. Okay, so now you're going to break apart and then you have to peel and actually cut off the skin on that one, right? Well, do you want to hold it up to that camera and just show a little bit closer what that is? Okay, so. This just has a little bit more, uh, oops, still too close. Uh, it's a little thicker skin, and it, it won't, you can't rub it off. Like we've been rubbing off some of the other, but this we can't. So what we're going to do instead, what we're going to do instead is peel it with a spoon. Oh, okay, yeah, let's just get this, we need to get this on, <laughs> on, uh, if you can, can you, uh, let's get this a little closer. Can you do it on this one? Sure. Okay. Um. So basically, we're just gonna use the spoon and just like pull down on it. You kind of have to start on the edge. And this, this the spoon works really well because um, because it doesn't get rid of any of the extra ginger. It just takes off the skin, basically. Oh. So that's the nice part about using a spoon. And it, it actually works pretty fast. Um, with this thick skin, though, even the even the spoon doesn't work super. Effectively, okay. with the with the baby ginger, it works really, really fast. Okay. But the thick skin is just difficult. So right. I'm gonna work on it over here. That's a bummer. There won't be much thick skin. Or there shouldn't be much thick skin stuff because no. the thick skin is basically what you planted. Well, I planted <laughs> right, and so the longer you leave it in the ground, the thicker it will get. Then as well. Yes. Okay. So if it overwintered, well. If it, if you were in a tropical area and it overwintered, it would probably be a uh, thick skin. Now that one looks like it's sprouting again. It's getting ready to sprout again. So would you say ginger, it can be grown, obviously we're in Ohio, it can be grown, um, I'm in northern Ohio, Simon lives in southern Ohio, but ginger grows, would you say, better and of course year-round in a warm, a warmer zone? Well, the longer... Which is a gro longer growing season. The longer growing season mm -hmm. you have, the more you'll get. Mm -hmm. um, because you can't plant it out until it's, I don't know what the temperature has to be. Right. O obviously it can't be freezing. Right. Um, so the sooner you plant it out, the more you'll get. But... washing the gar oh, not garbage <laughs> ginger and peeling it and so here it is we are going to now slice it up and you'll see in hopefully an inserted video of a close-up of this but we decided to put this in with the cranberry so we have extra racks in our dehydrator so we're going to put our um, ginger on this and then we will go ahead and dehydrate it with the cranberries. I don't know if there'll be a mixture of flavors going on in there, but if you like ginger, ginger infused cranberries might be good. So we'll go ahead and, and have Simon cut these in the maybe the right thickness, whatever you think is best, get it on the dehydrating rack and then we'll pop it in there. So go ahead and start whatever you need to do here. Okay. So we have our a rack here of ginger. 
and we're going to put this in the dehydrator and with a single point to put the tray underneath in case they fall through it. And so that is ginger for today, harvesting, getting it in the dehydrator. We'll do some updates on how it turns out and grinding it into a powder. And then in a couple weeks, we'll be putting out a video about crystallizing the other ginger that we have. So I think that'll last in the fridge. Okay. Maybe. We'll try our best. <laughs> so until then, stay rooted. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.